Get all villager types, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Silly Jaffa. Hello people, Jaffa here, and welcome back to Arcadia. Yes, I'm aware my base is kind of a mess. Got some copper, slowly oxidizing. To be fair, most of it is actually done. So recently I've been planning for some big builds, gathering lots of resources. However, there are some resources which are a bit more tricky. For some of these, I might build farms. For some of these, I've just been buying stuff. However, I'm not that rich. I'm doing a bit of strip mining here and there, but I really need some more diamonds. So today I am gonna be building in the shopping district. Sales for the goat horn shop have grinded to a halt. However, I have an idea for a nice little build that could result in me getting some more diamonds. First off, there are some things I need to catch you up on. So recording on an SMP like this, there's lots of little bits that just don't quite fit into the videos. So while I have a tidy up of my base, let's have a little catch up. So first of all, there's been an ongoing war between carrots and potatoes. I'm not sure how this started, but so the potatoes could keep up with the carrots, there is golden potatoes on the server. We have a data pack which allows custom models, so people have been making the most of that. Being part of the campfire crew, kind of, who completely are on the side of the carrots. You know, they're trying to pressure me to be part of the carrot team. However, I like to be different. So as you can see in my hot bar, I have made golden beetroots. I've just retextured the beetroots, got some help with adding it to the server, and here we are. Golden beetroots. They are just as good as golden carrots and golden potatoes. And at some point, I'm definitely going to have to make a little market stall for them. So talking of retextured items, I arranged a meeting with Percy because he is an expert in this department. Hello? Hello. Hang on, I'm in my other shop. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Hey, hello. Jeffa. Hello, hello. How are you doing? How are you? I'm well, I'm well. How are you How are you doing yourself? I'm doing pretty good myself. Good stuff. W welcome like to the, the Bam Boutique. Very nice, very nice. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, I've actually got a few requests. A few? Well, yeah. You know what? Let's have a seat over here. Okay. Can okay. I get you something to drink? Coffee, tea? Oh, I would love a coffee. Coffee? Okay, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll grab you a coffee. Okay. Hi, we, how are we doing? That's good. I think I'll have a tea myself. There we are. Back. Thank you. Oh, wood's also doing fine. <sighs> Much better. Good, good stuff. I'll uh, give you a glass back. Oh, thank you very oh, much. I'll, I'll try and give you a glass back. <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually got a few requests. Well, two requests and a question. Uh, okay. I'm hoping the requests are going to be quite simple. So first of all, you can probably tell by the name. I am kind of a big fan of Jaffa Cakes. It's been a uh, nickname since I was pretty young. It's kind of stuck. <laughs> uh, I have consumed quite a few Jaffa Cakes in my lifetime. And um, yes, it would be kind of nice to get them in Arcadia, if you, uh, if you know a good recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely I mean, look into that. Cool, that'd be good. Yeah, hopefully that shouldn't be too difficult. Another one is, I think there's already an example of what I'm needing. Have you got your record on you? Because I haven't oh. actually heard, I haven't actually heard this song yet. I've heard little clips of it. I, I don't have it on me, but it's right over there. We can walk over if you want. Sure, let's go see, shop. let's go see your, your other shop. Right. Yeah, 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 come on, come, come along. I mean, we can listen to it if you want, while we discuss yeah. the, uh... Yeah, let's have a listen. Let's see if I need to turn down. Riding on my donkey through the desert Riding on my donkey through the sea It is a good now tune. I know it doesn't make a lot of Thank sense, you. But it just might if you give it a chance to point it Basically, what I'm wondering because it's quite like a flat item. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if it's possible to make an item that would go in an item frame and similar to a map would take up the whole block. Yeah, that's possible. I'm wanting the texture of a block. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I think so, I think so. Hi, Woot. Oh, bye, Woot. Oh, it, oh, he's not. Nope. 
At some point, I considered it. Right next to it is uh, Zunti shop, and I thought, it'd okay, freaking. Yeah, I, I was just like, <laughs> every time I see that picture, I'm like, hmm, is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be tested, you know. I'm having a deep conversation with Woot. Oh yeah, I can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> He's staring into my soul. Well, it is kind of the only thing we can see, which is not very physical, and therefore doesn't really see physical. Interesting. Yeah, hopefully it should be a easy thing to sort out. Yeah, oh no, it'll be fairly simple. I will just take the texture of a cookie and use that yeah. as a base. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It'd be easiest bet. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you again, and uh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, I look forward to hearing the updates. And I'll see you when I see you. Do you want to see you? Bye. <laughs> see you later. Oh, there Yay! we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I might be going round with my goats listening to the song. <laughs> this is a good place to enjoy the music. Oh, it kind of it kind of fades out when you get round here. <laughs> no! <laughs> No. <laughs> and it's fading back in. I can still do this. True. <laughs> so, I'd set Percy the challenge of getting me Jaffa Cakes on Arcadia. And a few other extra bits that we won't talk about. So, a while later, Percy messaged me and arranged a meetup. Okay, so I brought along some stuff that I believe I need. Let's see if he's here. Percy? Knock Ooh. knock. Hello, hello. Knock knock, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Looking very festive. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a Scrooge. Do you want a Christmas hat? Um, I'll go on then. Go on, I'll, tr I'll try and get in the spirit. There you go. Let's try that one. There you go, see? Yay, it's I've, perfect. I've, I feel so Christmassy already. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know. If it's not for you, then it's not for you, of course. Yeah, it's, it's one of them that I'm, I'm a Grinch, but, you know. Oh, you're actually going to steal Christmas then? We'll see. I'll <laughs> give you a hat back if you want. Yeah, Bef yeah, yeah. Before I steal that. <laughs> 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 but yes, uh, it's been a while. It has been, yeah. The last time I saw you, I requested some items. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, I, I mean, you've been messaging me a bit earlier about, like, the progress of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited to see what you've got. Uh, I'm going to do some magic. Are you ready to see magic? Yes. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh -huh. Hang on, hang on. And now it is a pork job. Yeah. And that oh. was a Jaffa cake. Oh, wow. There you go, have a look at that one. Oh, wow. My own Jaffa cake. Finally. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Nom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it looks awesome. Uh, I'm I'm not actually hungry. <laughs> oh, no. Let I can me... help you. Oh, here. Oh. Walter can help you. Is it Walter? What's his name again? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know There's what his Walter. name is. He can help you. Hi. Just jump in there with him. You really can't hit me from here. Why, why can't you hit me? I'm sure I've stood further away and he still hit oh, me. Oh, there you go. Oh, you know what? The rose works. Yeah, the rose will do it. <laughs> Walter's a bit broken. Mm. Go to bed, Walter. <laughs> he's just... <laughs> he's doing his workout. He's just... Yeah, he's doing some sort of workout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Om nom 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 nom. Ooh, there we go. How does it taste? Oh, amazing. Perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Awesome. Um, well, I'm really glad you like it. I, I would I would like the recipe. Well, um, yes, I will tell you the recipe, but it's a secret, okay? Okay, yeah, of course, of course. There awesome. you go. There we go. Now, um, the other one is a little more tricky. There we ooh, go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that looks really big, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that in a five. Ooh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Ooh. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm sinking into the abyss. <laughs> that looks alien. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, some spook spooky voices. So 
Spooky voices, you're hearing voices. This you're year. not the only one on this server who's hearing voices. Oh, yeah? Yeah, corn has been hearing voices too. Oh. See, I, I think she's being possessed by some kind of, uh, I don't know, eldritch being or something. Well, that doesn't sound great. It doesn't. No. But you hearing voices doesn't sound great either. No. Rather than nice um, voices. Yeah, it just seems to be the skulk mostly. Like. The skulk is talking to you. Yeah, various stuff. Like it's. The closer I get to the city, the stronger it gets, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where was your city again? It's right underneath my base. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to your base then. I guess. <laughs> it's That's okay. Scary. I'm. I'm. I'm quite a way out, so it, it should be good okay. for around well, here. I think. I think Though, I'm um, being with too many weird entities. I was going to say, uh, Gwen's. I think experienced it a little bit at her tavern, uh -huh. so it does seem yeah. like it's spreading. I don't know. I just kept hearing voices. I'm like, okay, it's, it's in my head. It's in my head. You know, I'm. I'm tired. I'm been playing a while. Just yeah, watching the footage back. The voices were still there, and I mean, okay. I kind of ended up getting recordings of it. Well, you did. Dude. What? So, yeah, it's a bit worrying. That is, that, that's not just some voice, that's creepy, man. Yeah. Like I say, Why I are thought you basing it was there? Go somewhere else. I've, I've already set up, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to let it scare me off. It's just well, voices. You can always come just back voices. to the campfire crew. Very true, very true. I do need to work on my tent. Yeah, exactly. Come back yeah, to us. You don't have to uh, worry yeah. about spooky things and scary things. I don't know what, what to believe, though, because it's... Well, this was a, another one. Don't trust the others. Well, I don't trust that. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I haven't heard from it in a while, so... Okay, that's good. Yeah, may maybe maybe it's the problem solved. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. But you said it was now at Gwen's. Yeah, I mean, we can head over if you want. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mess with that. I'm, 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 I'm decent, deep in, uh, in other stuff. Yeah, that, that, that's stuff. fair. That's I don't fair. need more. Uh, before I forget, by the way, I believe I owe you a uh, payment. Oh right, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm a shop owner. I, I, I yeah, I mean, I mean if, if you if you want to get paid, you, yeah, you, yeah, 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 no, that would be nice. Yeah, um, uh, I mean, we didn't. See, what did we agree on again? I don't think we did. We did. We didn't. Oh, okay. So, is, uh, we agreed on one diamond. One diamond. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. One diamond block. One diamond beacon. That was it, right? Di diamond beacon. <laughs> 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 okay, so. For the Jaffa cake, we've got the 60 in there. Thank and then you. the second item, we have half a stack there. Thank you very much. No worries. There we go. Nice doing business. Nice doing business. But yeah, good to see you again. Uh, I'm glad you're yes. back on and yeah. kind of recovered. <laughs> I've kind of recovered, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah I'm good. really glad to be back too. Are you working on anything exciting currently? Uh, I just finished something exciting currently. Oh. Um, should be up in an hour on my channel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, whoever's watching this, go watch Percy's <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's the, it's, it's the. Yeah, I'll, 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 if it's in the future, then I can, share, I can, I can yes. spoil it. It's a winter fair video, in for for my, my for my theme park. Awesome. Sounds good. Uh, yes. Uh, if you're watching this, go watch Percy's and say that Jaffa sent you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Jaffa. No worries. This sounds, uh, it may sound kind of weird, but I got my own soul back. <sighs> From core, uh, yeah, From okay, core, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> You've taken my soul. I sort of gave it away, so it's my fault, really. Apparently, she does still have my heart, though, so that's interesting. Huh. Um, yeah. Are you you feeling okay there, Percy? Well, why do you think I've been ill <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for a while? <laughs> I'm sure nothing weird's going to happen with that. No, not at all. Especially not with Corn. Mm -hmm. She never does anything weird. I know you've not really been on, but do you know what's happened with this shop? This uh, appeared when I wasn't on, and it was demolished when I wasn't on. So mm -hmm. I have no idea. Yeah. I noticed it a while ago, and... 
At first, I thought my frames had glitched with the rainbow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're exactly on the chunk border here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I don't know what happened to the rainbow. It was yeah. a nice rainbow. Yeah, I remember it, seeing it full at one point, and then the next mm -hmm. time I saw it, yeah, someone it someone got hungry. I guess somebody ate the rainbow. Yeah. Does Sk it even scales. taste good? <laughs> it looks like it's been made out of wool. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, that tastes like wool. Why would you eat that? Did you just try it then? Yeah, 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 of course. I wanted to see. Okay, okay. Is that side better then? I'll stick with my Jaffa cakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the same. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we're just talking about how weird corn is. <laughs> you're, going, <laughs> you're going around eating wool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> oh dear. Don't oh, die. Buddy. Don't die. <laughs> Has corn got your brain as well? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> she heard, it, she heard us uh, talking about her and then just squished the brain a little. That's and made, made yeah. you eat some Oh more. no, she's made, she took my heart and made it into a food doodle. Yes, yeah, that's what's happened. Yeah, there's a uh, puppet of you somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> you imagine. The, yes, yes I can. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get on a bad side. Just... Oh, I'm trying really hard. Yeah, when she was living with Zoonti and you had to mm. tell her the truth. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah. And then Zunti just showed her ahead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we okay, Zunti is also one of those people who <laughs> Yeah, the servers for them. Pretty whereas enough. whereas we are completely sane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I've never licked the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating wool and I'm hearing voices. <laughs> okay, well, this has been different <laughs> <laughs> it's nice hanging out with you yeah you too man yeah it's, it's always a lot <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you to eat in the rainbow I think, I Yay! Think, I think I know where the rest of it went <laughs> what do you think I made this sweater from <laughs> yeah true <laughs> true so here we have it Jaffa Cakes in Arcadia they look awesome. Percy's done an amazing job with them and they are yummy. So a big thank you to Percy for creating the Jaffa Cakes for me. His channel name is 100% me, but I'll be leaving a link to everyone's channels in the description. So what else have I been up to? Well, you know, a while back I talked about the Sand Duper. Well, I started on that. I actually found a stronghold close to my base. It is somewhere below here. So honestly, this cave might be the best option. That can't be on the minimap already. Hmm, this, yeah, okay, this seems like a bad idea without a way to breathe. Okay, I've got some doors. Let's go for it. Because it seems on the minimap that... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it leads around to the bigger cave. Oh, there we go. My question is, can I dig through to this? Oh, there we go. Got some brick. Huh. Well, with the mossy cobble plus the sound of at least more than one spider, I am going to presume this is a spider spawner. Um, but yes, the uh, cracked brick is a good sign. This stronghold's pretty high up. Right. I am inside. Let's light this place up. Actually. Before I go for too far, I feel like I should find that spider spawner. It should be behind here somewhere. There we go. A couple of chests. I'll have a look at them in a minute. Right, let's see what's in these chests. <gasps> That's pretty good. 
couple of name tags, saddle. Yeah, this is actually good loot. I'm glad I went back for it. Okay, so from the pro that I definitely am not. Um, as far as I'm aware, I think it's best to head down. The lower you go, the more chance you got found in the portal. You can sort of see it on the minimap actually, and I believe it's the opposite side. Oops. Hmm. How do I get down? Oh. Oh. Okay, it looked like the portal was down that way. I am just lighting up the other areas just for now. And there we go. I have my own end portal now. Next up, let's set a quick way to get here. Okay, so to make this portal link up to one in the nether, I'm going to have to build another portal in the nether at minus 238, positive 204. I don't believe I've slept, so if I go into the end, let's take me back to my base. It does. Okay, cool. Now I can go into the nether and find where I need to build another portal. Another portal. <laughs> oh! Well, there goes my, um... Julka. I hope this appears where I want it to, but yeah, hopefully this links up. It does! Awesome. And I got my shulker back. But yes, I'll start working on the farm for the overworld, and I'll try and get in touch with RKV about the end side of things. The way that I thought about it is I could have my own farm on the overworld side and then combine with RKBs in the end. Though after a lot of thinking about it, I made a decision that since I'm trying to challenge myself as much as I can on this server and I'm trying to play a bit differently, not making massive farms for everything, I thought let's do it the proper way and grind. So I've been collecting a lot of materials, mostly sand and gravel, because concrete is going to be a big ingredient in the builds that I'm making. Ah, much better. Still some bits to wait on, but it's much tidier. And then last but not least... Villagers. A while ago I made a decision to uh, try and get all villager types. I'm not sure why. Let's go with um, diversity purposes? I just thought it would look kind of cool to have all villagers wandering around, all the different colours and variations. And I decided to build this. So up near the top of my base, I've now got a breeder for every type of villager. Not completely finished. However, I've been testing it and, um, yeah, it's working. Because of the biome that I'm in, I still get the plains villagers from all variants. But I've got two of each type in a glass box, colours to try and suit their skins, and eventually I'll sort out a system to try and pick and choose what villager type I would like to breed up next. I've been testing it with the jungle and swamp variants just because they're the most awkward to get and I wanted to make sure I had some spares just in case something went wrong because you never know. I'm living in a cave, there's always going to be dark patches, zombies like to cause trouble. And I'm slowly working on a system that's going to lead to each floor. Right, enough of me rambling, let's head over to the shopping district. Woo. Okay, here we are, back at the shopping district. You know what? <laughs> let's see if I've made any more diamonds. It's been a while since I checked. Nope. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, it was expected. Why am I goat stuck? Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, I forgot that the last episode I did was a secret Santa. So Gwen didn't actually find the build till a couple of days later. At first, I don't think she knew who did it, but she eventually put a detective cap on and figured out it was me. She seemed to like the build, so I'm glad about that. She had no idea I was there, so the sneaky sneaky worked. As for my secret Santa, well, one day I logged on, and this happened. Hello people, a very tired Jaffa here, and welcome back to Arcadia. I've just logged on to do a few grindy jobs, and well, I've logged on at my base, and I see something a bit suspicious. So, let's go check it out. Okay, so, I got to about here before I spotted it. Cool. Okay, so it is a present, definitely little bow. I guess I'll just open it up, right? Um, oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> so one of the things I asked for was honey blocks. 
And um, yeah, they have uh, definitely delivered on the honey blocks. Some diamonds in there as well. 36, I will take that. But yeah, I, I, I don't know who's delivered this. I'm gonna check around for any signs. There's no note or anything. Hmm. I can't see anything around. Yeah, I can't see any signs of who it's from. I have a few guesses. I mean, the colours are a choice. Well, whoever this was, uh, thank you. That is a lot of honey. I mean, it kind of puts me off making a farm now, but... But we'll, we'll see. I'll probably still make a farm. Knowing me, like, a very inefficient one, so this will definitely help out. But yes, I've been wanting honey blocks, and I kept procrastinating and putting off building a honey farm, so this will definitely help a lot. So thank you. Big present right in my base, full of lovely honey blocks, which is one of the things I asked for, so it was very much appreciated. But there was no indication of who it was from. The only indication was that the wool was purple and black. This has made me realise that a lot of people on this server, their colour theme is purple and black. I thought it could be Tooth, but no, I'd seen his video of what he'd done. I thought it could be Kaimidar, he left his video quite mysterious. But no, it was Silver. So thank you, Silver. Very much appreciated. Again, I'm gonna leave all the links to everyone's channels in the description. Go check out Silver's channel. Go check out everyone's channel. Right now. Well, after, after you finish watching this one, of course. <laughs> where was I? Oh yeah, so I've marked out this little area of where I would like to build my next shop. It's a bit out of the way and hidden behind some of the bits, but that's okay. There's reasons behind it. So you can see in the fog there is the dragon's head. That's where the portal is. However, we've got another part of the shopping district, which is over there. There's been some insanely good builds over in that direction. However, I'm not going to go show them off because you're just gonna have to check out everyone else's channel. To give you a hint, I know that Scuba, Humble, and Zoomty have all built over there. Humble did the giant tree, and there is a portal connected to that tree as well. The portals will come into play with my shop because it could be an issue. I'm the only one online currently, and that's probably a good thing because I, I might have to do some portal breaking and relighting and turn one off to turn one on to quickly do something to yeah, it'll all make sense eventually. So the build itself is hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, going to be pretty uh, simple. But it's going to be something that I keep adding to whenever I fancy a challenge. So, let's do this. Okay, so there we have it so far. I improvised with the road completely, so it definitely needs a bit of a tidying up. The light levels aren't safe over here, so I've got a plan to put some lights and probably put some carpet. So hopefully you can tell that it is supposed to be a forklift truck. Lots of little cages of various types, and over time, we're gonna fill the cages. I'm gonna sort the light situation, and then I'm probably gonna put something here just to kind of explain what it is. And basically what I'm doing is I am going to offer my services as a mob mover. For anyone on Arcadia that needs some mobs moving, whether it be from villagers to endermen, wither skellies, wardens, whatever. I'm going to offer my services, depending on the mob, depending on the distance, depends on whether it crosses dimensions or not, it'll all go towards whatever I charge. Not too sure in the prices just yet, but I'll definitely figure something out. But yes, I'm going to be filling these cages with various mobs. The reason I kind of wanted it a bit out of the way is just because I'll probably use some portals for some, and I'm hoping it's far enough away from the main shopping district portal and from the portal made within the tree that I shouldn't have any connection issues and should be able to get the mobs through where I want them to. Time will tell. Okay, so I've got my little setup sorted. So I've got pieces of paper in here, an anvil, another barrel, and a little lamp. And basically in the book it says, hello and welcome to 
Mob Movers. Here we offer our services in moving and delivering a wide range of mobs. Anything from allays to zombies. If you require the services of the Mob Movers, then please put your name on a piece of paper from the barrel on the left, using the anvil, and deposit into the barrel on the right. Please then use the lever to turn on the lamp. If in need of the Mob Movers urgently, then please contact Jaffa on Discord. Thank you. You know what? I need to put about a payment. Can't forget that part. I need the diamonds. <laughs> payment will be agreed before the job has been complete. Thank you. I think that's good enough, right? Okay, so to make this a bit easier, let's try setting up a portal, then a portal on the Never Roof. Hopefully they link and don't link with the portal in the dragon head or the portal in the tree. Hopefully I've got the right sort of distance that it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, what I'm gonna do is prepare for villagers coming through. So basically the only way they should be able to go is into the gauge. Let's make it even easier and put a step there and even easier and put a boat. So what I'm gonna do, light this portal, but then not go through and I'm gonna head over to the never roof. Okay, so to make sure that the portals don't link in the overworld, they have to be more than 128 blocks away from each other. And in the never, because everything's kind of divided by eight distance wise, they have to be more than 16 blocks away from each other. Just to kind of guarantee that they won't link up. Okay, moment of truth. Am I gonna turn up at the mob movers or at the dragon's head main portal? Okay, that's good, that's good. That's really good. I wanna test it a few times, just to make sure. I think it's time to send the villagers through and hope for the best. Okay, hitbox is on. You. Okay, you've just gone straight through, that's good. What about you? And you have as well. Hopefully this has worked. <laughs> oh. Okay, now if you could just walk into that place that looks very much like a cage. Not you. Could you go away, please? Where have you come from? <laughs> come on. Out that corner. Why is it that you're the one that's doing what I want? Right. Put them blocks there, then I can push him. Push him out the corner. Like so. Yeah, you come and see what your friend's doing. Just a little further into the cage. No. No! No. Don't you as well. Don't you as well. <laughs> um, this could be an issue. <laughs> because I didn't block up the other side. Okay. You know what? That's going to stop him going back. Yes. First try. Kind of. So I'm sure I'll rebuild this portal at some point. It's good to know that it works. Okay, and there we have it. Mob movers. New service I'm offering to deliver mobs of any sort. I'm no expert, however, it will be a fun challenge to do. Plus, most of all, a way of making some diamonds, which I desperately need, and just a fun project to have on the side. One issue is it is looking a bit empty. I've got my villagers in. They are the two villagers that don't spawn naturally. So I think it's a good first step to show off what I can do. But yes, I really need to get some other mobs in here. So let's start working on that. On the lower portal. Where's this led to? Okay, I like this. Go through it. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to end up. Where's this? <laughs> okay, so I have realised slash remembered there is like a mob switch down in the never hub. Is it going to be like a boat? If I use a lead on it, is it going to get out? It is. Okay. Am I running now? Didn't really plan this very well because, well, I'm running with a hoglin chasing me. The portal's not lit. I don't have a fence post to put it on. 
Yeah, I really didn't plan this very well. Okay, you're stuck. That's good. Hmm, okay. So I'm gonna break the glass, run to that corner, pull him through. And hope that he's actually through. Yeah, despawn. Kind of like a fault, to be honest. But hey, that was practice. Okay, lots of stuff spawning. Now that I've extended this platform, I don't have glass above all of it, so this could go very interestingly. Wow, okay, there's a ghast. Ooh, that's gonna kill me. We got a ghast. about where all these fireballs are going. Yep, very much not a good sign. Okay, I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to keep in. It was a disaster. I was very impatient and rushed it, trying to get a ghast. Thought it'd be easier than it was. There was a few fires caused on the nether roof. Hopefully nothing damaged anywhere. I think I'm gonna end this by getting some hoglins instead. Zoglins. I think that'll be easier. Hopefully. <laughs> I've made another portal here. The idea is I'll run up here. I'll run out, block it. Hopefully run around and block the other side before they can do anything. Let's go for a run. Please stay on the path. I don't think you're on the path, are you? You are not. Well, now what do I do? Whoa! Okay, I'm trying to help you here. Wow, you survived. Okay, cool. I'm actually kind of shocked. Yeah, that's okay. Why are you ignoring me? Why are you not going through? There we go. Come on. Please. You're here. Okay. That's okay. Ow. Oh, fine. I don't think I can put a lead. I can put a lead on you. Okay. I know. I know. You're a bit stressed, aren't you? Me too. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, no. That's really not good. You're not stuck on that post. No, you're not. You're trying to trick me. Come on now. You're being silly. Zoggy. I need you to come in this cage and behave. Look, you're not trapped on anything. You're just being over dramatic. Oh, you're not gonna make this easy, are you? Please. 
he's say he's in the cage. Wow, you were a lot of work. You're gonna behave now. You're not gonna despawn or die or anything like that. Okay, stay. And there we have it. Mob movers. <laughs> I never said I was any good at it. That was a disaster with the ghast, but hey, I got a zoglin. I brought over two villagers, got a zoglin. Built a little area. At least I'm showing off a little bit of what I can do. There's plenty of cages. So if there's a particular mob that you would like me to capture and move to this shop, then leave a comment. I'm gonna leave it there because I feel like this has gone on quite a while. Make sure you do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And I'll see you when I see you.